everyone. We're going back to Korea. We are back on Korean Air, going to Seoul, Korea. I literally can't wait. I'm so excited. We found our spots. And great has been putting away stuff for me. So last time we went to Korea, it was during like the height of the pandemic. So the flight is actually way more full now than it was before. But I can definitely tell we're getting the same awesome service. So I'm like super excited. Just 11 hours before we get to Korea. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. So this was waiting on our seat when we came in. It's like a nice thick blanket. Last time I remember this being super comfortable. And my husband is pulling out the awesome slippers that they have that really end up being super helpful on the flight. It's pretty funny, but these slippers even fit my husband's feet and he has pretty big feet. So it looks like there's something else in the bag. Oh, nice. I remember this last time. A nice toothbrush and some pretty good tasting toothpaste. Let's see, what kind of movies do we have? Oh, new releases. Oh my goodness, we haven't watched Top Gun yet. This is probably what we're gonna watch. And this is the same water that we received last time we were here. It's the Cheju Pure Water, but I almost didn't recognize it because it doesn't have that like classic blue cover on it. I love that they always give you this super comfy pillow. It's probably one of the comfier pillows I've had on a flight before. I think I'm gonna try to stay up the entire 11 hours and seven minute flight. My friends are pretty hilarious, but they sent us off with all of these snacks. I seriously have some of the best friends ever. Okay, it looks like it's the same safety video from last year, complete with plenty of Korean pop stars. Oh, and that awesome bear back again, so cute. I think we should be taking off soon. Oh my gosh, we're moving. We're going to Korea. We're above the clouds. My husband just got an ostrich pillow and it's one of the best purchases that we've gotten yet. The next support really is super awesome. I bought this book to read for the flight today. And you already know my favorite part of the day, lunch time. Today I ordered the bibimbap with rice. This is the Korean option. So when you order the bibimbap, you'll notice that there's ground meat, zucchini, some bean sprouts, spinach, mushroom, and I actually don't know what this is. So for those of you who don't know, bibimbap is literally mixed rice, which means we're gonna take this rice that my husband is opening for me on the left, and we're gonna put it in here and mix it all up. Thank you. Last time we were on the plane, they served myokguk, which is seaweed soup. Today, it looks like we had tenjang jjiga. It smells really good. Tenjang jjiga is soybean paste soup. I can't believe this is in a little to-go container. By the way, it's super hot. I love that they serve all of the soup super warm. How's the flavor? Really good? Yep, and remember last time we had this super cute gochujang container? We have it again. Gochujang is Korean hot pepper paste. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to put the gochujang into the bibimbap, and we also have some sesame oil in a container as well. We're gonna pour on that sesame oil too. And this is what your bite should look like when you're all done mixing it up. You have a little bit of all of the different ingredients, including the mushroom, the bean sprouts, the spinach, the zucchini, and maybe potato. And then you have like the gochujang paste and some of the sesame oil. Honestly, this smells so good. Husband is gonna try the first bite because he loves bibimbap. How is it? So good. Nice. Oh, wait, I want the pookie. Oh. Thank you. Mmm, really good. Bomb. All of the ingredients are so well seasoned. This is just as good as I remember, maybe even better. I feel like the food selection always changes. Before it was like grapes or something, but now I see like pineapple, watermelon, anything that's just honeydew melon. Let's taste this watermelon. Mmm, it's really sweet. And of course we also got the American version just to see what they have. Looks like we have a fresh salad today, complete with a cucumber, a sneaky tomato over there. <laughs> just kidding, I love tomatoes and a bunch of fresh lettuce. And I wonder if today's American version is different than the last time. Oh, it's looking pretty familiar. Aha, it's the beef pasta from last time. Except I can't remember, did they have green beans or did they have peas? Either ways, I don't like either of those vegetables. Ooh, but there's cauliflower, which I do enjoy. It looks like a beef stroganoff and some pasta. And then what is this over here? It looks like maybe like red peppers, but yeah, let's go ahead and try it. <laughs> and of course they brought out that bread. I remember trying this last time and it was pretty stale tasting. I don't know if it's supposed to 
most of days like that, but we will give it another try. Ooh, and what is this? This is the first time we've seen this one. Ooh, it's like a fancy vinaigrette. Okay, we're gonna try the hot foods first. Ooh, wow, that beef feels so tender. Um, and then we're gonna grab it with some noodles because this is what a perfect bite looks like. A little bit of everything except those vegetables that I don't like very much. Oh my gosh, my husband just told me there are mushrooms in here. I'm also not a fan of mushrooms, so I'm gonna take that off the feed. And now I can try it. super savory beef dish like very beefy and hearty but I really like it definitely reminds me of a beef stroganoff and there is that pesky little mushroom that tried to sneak its way into my mouth I have a special place reserved for you mushroom my husband who loves mushrooms it's one of our main differences how is it since there's only one cauliflower I'll give it to my husband because I love him so much yum very healthy and delicious I can't believe this is plain food. I'm like really surprised. Okay, and we're gonna try the vinaigrette on the salad. Wow, it looks so fancy. And my husband going in with the cucumber and the lettuce in the vinaigrette. The vinaigrette is like slightly tangy, nice and crunchy. Bah ha ha ha, the return of the bread. My husband said that he thinks that the texture is supposed to be like this, so I will try it again and let you know what it tastes like. Cheers. really well with the beef and that we can change up the flavor. Should be good. My husband says she probably knows this trick because she has to eat this all the time. Wow, that looks really good actually. I'm trying the bite with the gochujang for the stewardess's recommendation. 
Hey, I figured she knew what she was talking about. And oh, I think you picked up a piece of radish. The gochujang with the meat, it just pairs really well. When you get this, I would ask for the tube of gochujang as well. We just made it to the Korean Peninsula. Hello, Korea. We made it. Okay, we just made it to the convenience store and now we're gonna pick up a kimbap, but there's so many to choose from. I don't know which one to pick. Okay, my husband has made the audible call. We're gonna get this hamgyeop wang kimbap. It has a lot of pork belly, it looks like. This is literally only like $2. Opening this up. Just an easy dinner since we're still at the airport. Okay, everyone, we made it to Korea. Kimbap cheers to kick it off. Mm. Mm. Okay, everyone. Well, that's a wrap. We'll see you here in Korea. Like and subscribe if you haven't already.